I show you step by step how to install the Greenco fresh water bidet. So here's the box that it comes with and I bought this one on Amazon as you can see here. Out of the box you get the actual bidet attachment. You can see you have a knob here for water pressure and this is pretty cool too. You have like an adjuster. You can see the nozzle down here and you can adjust that. I don't have this on my other one so that's uh, pretty cool. You also get a bag of goodies here. Out of this bag you get your instructions manual which you're not going to need. You also get an adapter here. You get three washers. You get two of these black ones and this white one. This white one is going to go in here into the adapter and of course you also get a hose as well. So the first thing to do is go to whatever your, wherever your toilet water supply is. Mine is right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now you want to go ahead and drain all the water out, okay? And because we tighten this, the water's not going to fill back up, okay? So it's tight. Let's flush out all the water. Just hold it down. Make sure all the water goes all the way out. There we go. The next step is going to take off your toilet lid. You can have these to pop up here. The only tool you're going to basically need is just a um, like a Phillips head screwdriver just to unscrew your toilet seat. Okay, all the other stuff you can hand tighten it. So let me unscrew this. There's a bolt. There's a nut on the bottom on the bottom of the toilet. You might have to hold that. This one's done. Put this to the side. Let's do the other one now. This one's out. Now go ahead and remove your entire toilet seat. Now the next thing, you see the hose that's connected to your toilet. We want to unscrew this. You should be able to um, hand unscrew that. But first thing is go ahead and grab yourself a, a rag or something that's put on the bottom because a little bit of water is probably going to leak out from the hose. So let me go ahead and, and, and make sure that this is tight, okay? Make sure there's no water in here. So let me go ahead and you can see a little bit of water coming out, no problem. Okay, so I have the uh, the adapter here. So basically this is gonna go up here and then you're gonna have that little hose come out here and then here you're gonna to attach to here. So what we should do first is go ahead and get the clear hose and we're gonna put it on here onto the adapter first. Okay, so you can go ahead and just unscrew this and then we're gonna put it in just like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. It might be a little bit difficult. Kind of get to play with it a little bit. There we go. You can see it's in right there. Now let me go ahead and move this back. And let's go ahead and tighten this bolt back up. Like that. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten this on to the, um, the, the knob down here on the toilet. But remember, this is very important. You have that white washer. You need to put that in here first. So we're going to put that in there. Then we're going to go ahead and tighten this one up first. You should be able to use your hands, no problem. All right, that should be good right there. Now make sure this little nozzle with the hose, make sure it's pointed this way. Okay, you can see kind of move it, maybe right here. Now we're going to attach this hose that's connected to the wall, the water supply, and we're going to go ahead and put it on the bottom here. So the next thing is go ahead and grab this hose and grab your bidet and we're going to go ahead and connect it into here. So let me just go ahead and unscrew this, leave it just like this and I'm going to put the hose through the nut first like this and now we're going to have to put some pressure and put this in there. All right, that's good. Let me go ahead and put the nut on now. Let's tighten this up. Okay, just like that. Now, okay, so now basically we flip it over and we can put this on top of here. Okay, but before we do that, you have your uh, black washer. These right here, you can just put right here on the hole. So after you put the, uh, the black washers right there, these are adjustable right here, okay? So what you wanna do is kinda just make sure that this, uh, the nozzle is actually like in the middle. So make sure it's in the middle and then just go ahead and match up uh, the holes here. 
Now, after you match up the holes just a little bit, go ahead and grab your uh, toilet seat. And what we want to do is we want to put it on top here. And again, you want to go ahead and match up the holes. And then what we want to do is go ahead and put the screws in. And don't tighten it all the way. Just put both of them in, and then we're going to make a little bit of adjustments, okay? So let me go ahead and put this one in. Let's put the other one in. Okay, so before you tighten it up, just make sure everything is nice and even. And also, you want to look over here, and you want to look at the nozzle here, okay? You want to make sure that it can still go all the way back, okay? If it can't go all the way back, you need to move this up just like a little bit, okay? So you're able to move it all the way back. So mine is perfect, just like this. So let me go ahead and tighten these up now. Then you can close these caps. Now everything is attached, okay? Now let's go ahead and turn the water on here. Let's turn on the water supply. Make sure there's no leaks or anything either, okay? Let me see if there's any leaks. If there's any leaks, I might have to tighten some things up. All right, feels perfect. Let's wait for it to fill up now. Okay, it's done filling up. There's no leaks here. Let me take a quick test drive now. So before I give you a quick demonstration, I want you to look at this here, okay? You can see I have these, basically these toilet bumpers on here. This is from my old bidet, I just left it on there. Because sometimes, you know, if you have like an inch or inch and a half, um, that's like open, then you may want to get one of, um, get these here and put those on. I'm not sure if I really need these or not, but I already put these on for my old bidet, so I'm just going to leave them on. But I'll put a link below where you can get these if you need these, if it's still like, if it's not closing all the way down, okay? So let's do a uh, quick test drive here. Now here's the adjustable nozzle. You can see, you can see it moving right there. Now let me go ahead and uh, turn the water on. Now I do like this because the great thing is w when you put this on a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit, the water is not gonna shoot out like a laser like on some of my other uh, bidets, okay? So you can see, and then we can go ahead and turn it off. There you go. Well, that was a quick, easy install, and I'll show you what it looks like from up here. You can turn it down like this, and also pop this down as well. And you can see, good luck.